Limit of trigonometric functions. Here is a very interesting question. It says, discuss the limit when x approaches 0 for sine x over absolute x. Right? We already know one thing. That is, limit for x approaching 0 of sine x over x is how much? That is 1. And that is the fundamental limit. Now, the question is, what is the limit of this where x is absolute x? So that is the question before us and how should we solve it? So first thing is, we should understand what is absolute x. Absolute x is defined like this. Absolute x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0. But absolute x is negative of x if x is less than 0. That is what it is, right? If it is difficult for you to recall, then recall from this diagram. You know how absolute x function looks like. It is kind of like this, right? It is same as y equals to x line when x is greater than or equal to 0. But when x is negative, it is flipped over like this. And that becomes absolute x. And this is the minus part. You see, that flips over. So that becomes absolute x. So let me write here very clearly. It is absolute x, correct? So, that is how we see absolute x. Therefore, when we are doing limit regarding absolute x, then we have to treat it as a piecewise function. After all, absolute x is a piecewise function, correct? So, we can split this problem like this. Limit when x approaches 0 from positive side, right, of sine x over absolute x and limit when x approaches 0 from negative side of sine x over absolute x. Even otherwise, when you are finding limit at 0, it means you have to evaluate limit from left and right side. Only if both limits exist and both are same, then the limit exists at that point. Otherwise, it does not. So now, I think it's easier for us to do the problem. So if we are trying to figure out limit of this function when x is less than 0, then we have to look into this part. What is absolute x equals to? Absolute x will be equal to minus x. So we'll write this as equal to limit x approaching 0 from left side is sine x over minus of x. And I can take this minus outside and I get what? I get limit x approaching 0 from negative side, taking this minus outside makes it minus sine x over x. And that's a fundamental limit. We know it is 1. So we can write this as minus 1. So minus 1 is the limit of this function when we are approaching 0 from left side. Okay, how about from the right side? From the right side it is limit x approaches 0 right side. We can write this as sine x over. If x is greater than or equal to 0, it is only x, so not minus x. That makes huge difference. That we know is 1. Now that means both the limits are not same. Do you see that? Since left side limit and the right side limits are not same, we say this does not exist. Right? So, Limit for sine x over absolute x when x approaches 0 does not exist. So that is how you can show this and prove it. Okay. Thank you.